offense readies for play number 10 of this series. He'll look to throw, and this is caught. Touchdown! And they've taken the lead here in the final minute. So many practices we watched over time where the offense works on scoring late in the game and finding a way to win, as we just saw there. Just saw it right there. Now can they preserve that advantage that they just got? Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. They'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. Philadelphia getting set to take the field. One possession game, time very much a factor. How does the offense handle this situation? Well, in a lot of cases, they should be somewhat relaxed. And I know that's counterintuitive because this is a pressure. Darren Sproles past the 20. He takes it across for the touchdown, and they've taken the lead late in the final minute of the fourth. Wow, wow. And how about that giving us our fifth lead change of the game? It's been back and forth. No doubt about it, and right now, they're ahead, but they can't relax at all because if we've had five lead changes, I'm kind of betting on a six. Yeah, we might see a six. Now after the touchdown, it's Sturgis to send it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And last year, that would have been a net gain of five on the return. This year, he stopped where he would have been if he had taken a knee, and that's at the 25. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. They only need a field goal. Obviously, the clock a huge factor. They'll be watching that. What do they need to do here, Charles? Your sequence of plays has to get you out of bounds. Completions, get out of bounds, gain some yardage. It's caught inside the 25. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. Rashad Perriman with time running out. And the Ravens have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. And that score gives us our sixth lead change of the game. Are we back on the playground on the seesaw? On the seesaw battle, right? yeah. Up and down, up and down. What a game we've watched here. It's been fun. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. This is taken at the three. He's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. Critical condition here, obviously. Got to hope to get something quick right and then maybe take that shot deep. And once they do take the big shot, you've got to worry on defense. Of course, no one getting behind the defense and make it an easy throw. But nowadays, it's not just the ball being tipped in the air and people in the end zone in a cluster. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he's across for the touchdown, and it's likely the game winner here in the closing stages. I think it'd be real easy here to focus on maybe a defensive breakdown with that type of a play in this situation. But let's give a little bit of credit here. That type of play is clutch. Boy, it was clutch, but to turn it back to the defense, how crushing is that? You think you've got this thing won, and in the last moments, almost literally, you lose it. Snatching defeat from the jaws of victory. Now after the touchdown, it's Sturgis to send it away. Short, short kick. One of the up middle take it down. And yeah, they're going to wind up with pretty good starting field position as they get it up past the 35. The Ravens offense now, they get set to head back on the field. Look at the clock. Everyone knows the situation. Probably time here for one final play. And we know what that play is going to be. It's got to be some sort of Hail Mary throwing it towards the end zone and hoping someone can catch it or catch it off of a tip. Think back to 2015. Didn't we see Green Bay pull that off yep, twice absolutely. in the season? Once in the regular season, under, once under, in the playoffs. Under, under. So stranger things have happened. It'll be interesting to see what the defensive strategy is about who they put on the field to try and knock that ball away. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still 
You're wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot.